anybody who says that if you are giving people the choice between having a job and not having a job and saying to people, you cannot have this job unless you get vaccinated, to those people who say that is coercion and that is coercive, that it is not right. If you're forcing me to leave a job and hopefully go find another one, that is force. You are using force and coercion against me to get vaccinated. What I say to you is you are absolutely right. You are absolutely right. But it's not just vaccines that provide that coercion. That's like, hey, you know what? I know that you need this job, and so we're going to give you worse working conditions. I know that you need this job, and so we're going to cut corners on safety. I know that you need this job, so we're going to give you less of a pension. We're going to get make you pay more of the health care. I know you need this job on and on and on. It is coercive. Welcome to the world of understanding that people's need to make money is a coercive element in our society. And in this one narrow instance, that coercion is being used to force a vaccine that will save the lives of those people and other people around it. The other people forced to work. <laughs> the other people forced to work. But the bottom line is you are right. Hold on to that notion. Because when we're past COVID, there's a whole nother host of issues that are gonna be really important to address about under what circumstances people who need to work have to swallow to get that work. Now you're beginning to understand when we say that it's not a question of me saying, hey, uh, I can choose to work here or not. You don't have that free choice. You are obligated. There is a coercive nature to that. Yeah, the vaccine's coercive, but having to pee your pants because you can't go on bathroom breaks at the poultry plant, yeah, that's not coercive. Well, obviously. the coercive part is that we need to work, and there may yes. not be other opportunities. And what you are forced to accept yes. by your employer. And so uh, just keep that in mind. If you're one of those people who have recognized that someone's need to work puts them at a disadvantage with management, capitalists, whatever you want to call it, hold on to that. Mm -hmm. you, you have reached a certain level of enlightenment. And uh, that's an important dynamic to know that it, you're, not, you're not just forced to take vaccines in those situations. It can be forced to be a whole host of things. Preach. So keep that in mind. All right, now let's move on to uh, this clip. Uh, sorry, I just got a little distracted. This is a clip of um, Chuck Todd producing evidence to Governor Asa Hutchinson that vaccine mandates are working in his uh, very own state. And talk about hemming and hawing. Oh, my heart goes out to these workers uh, that many of them say we're not anti-vax we're just anti-mandate and they're making a principled stand and that sort of makes the point that uh, the mandates are not being beneficial so i push back here in arkansas that we don't need to counter a federal mandate on our employers with a state mandate on our employers that's just the wrong direction and i made that point well i want to ask you though if we got some evidence here that mandates work let me show you some statistics in your state on August 1st, 36% of the state was fully vaccinated. After the vaccine mandate was announced, and you had companies like Tyson's and Walmart in your state essentially announce their own vaccine mandates, uh, vaccine acceptance went up 30%, got 46% of the state now. Is that not evidence that the mandates by Tyson's and Walmart have had an impact? Well, absolutely. It does indicate that. And it's not just there, but our health care workers, uh, uh, many of our hospitals have put in a requirement for vaccines and the rate goes up. So, yes, there is an effectiveness there. And so let me make it clear that when I say I don't believe we ought to be engaging in mandates, I'm speaking of uh, the government mandates, whether it's a federal government mandate or a state government mandate. 
and the states are sometimes coming in and saying employers should not have the ability to impose a vaccine requirement on their workers. To me, that's the wrong direction as well. It's not practical in terms of creating that debate, but it's not principled either. So I am a defender of the employer's right to provide a healthy workplace. You would have just as many workers right. say, I don't want to work there because it's not a healthy workplace because not everybody's right. going to be vaccinated. The employers are in a tough position. They should have the prerogative to make those decisions, and I support that. You know, there is... So, okay. He told on himself when he said, I support the employer's right. Boom, then, you know. This well, is what got Christy Nome in trouble in South Dakota, this exact same argument. Well, oh, really? this, is the, this is them trying to split the difference here because this is that way you allow the free market to decide. The unfortunate thing for uh, Asa Hutchinson, if he was actually being interviewed by somebody who, who actually wanted to nail this down, he would say, do you think it's a coincidence that these corporations made this decision because of a federal mandate? Like, do you think it's a coincidence that this happened right after the federal government said, hey, we're going to impose a mandate on you to impose an ultimatum to your, well, in fact, I guess maybe you could argue the federal uh, thing was not a mandate. I think it was, but the, technically it was an ultimatum. You have two choices. You, if you have over 100 employees, you could have vaccinate them or you got to test them on a weekly basis. Oh, testing on a weekly basis, more expensive. Vaccination, bingo. And does Ace Hutchinson think that was a, like a complete, that was a complete coincidence? that these major corporations with over 100 employees decided to do this, and then my vaccination rate went up. He doesn't think that. He's, like, trying no, to toe this line of publicly. Course. Although he's come off as very weak uh, in a variety of moments throughout the pandemic. But, like, there he's he, he secretly wants corporations in his state to be able to do what they want. He's sympathetic to the... I, compulsory vaccination, but he can't say that publicly. Yeah, of course, he's like, thank God. Yeah, he's thank like, God. My uh, my my state is not turning into like a hellfire pit because uh, we got our ass saved by the federal government. Right, that's what that they was. Lo he he loves that he can you know, they can take the heat for that um, because the reality is is that corporations in his state don't want COVID outbreaks and they want these vaccine mandates in order to keep making profit so he wants to like publicly have this position and then behind the scenes back whatever the bosses